What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. We are in Orlando, Florida, Disney World uh, at the Epcot Park. And we're actually testing out the Smooth Pro Mobile for the very first time in the vlog. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that, but in the meantime, enjoy this B-roll. At that part in uh, Epcot Center where you kind of like walk around and you find a lot of foods from a lot of different places and a lot of architectural. Well, how do you how do you say it in English? I don't pavilions. know. Pavilions? I don't yeah, know if pavilions. that's how you. Ah, yeah, pavilions. Anyways, there's a lot of food. There's a lot of architecture. There's a lot of fun stuff. Let me tell you, this has been one of the smoothest smooths ever. Um, the materials, uh, the build quality is great. It's made out of metal and uh, the motors have a higher grade capacity in terms of how much they can handle. It seems a little bit more stable than other gimbals. Alright everybody, so we've been hanging out in Epcot Center with the Smooth Pro Mobile. This is the first time that I actually test out this gimbal and I'm going to be honest with you, I really, really, really like the stability. But here's some other takeaways that I want to share. I'm going to actually do a proper five reasons why I like this gimbal on my YouTube channel. So you better uh, subscribe, of course, like this video, sub to Smooth and sub to my channel as well. But one of the things that I really like about this gimbal is the fact that you can lock the orientation. You can actually lock the gimbal by rotating a little dial on the right side. And if you pretty much rotate it further down, it locks the whole equation, right? I'm doing it right now, it's kind of locked in place. If I rotate it up, it's that little dial that dictates uh, how drastic that panning movement is going to look like. Another really cool thing that I like is that there's a switch on the right side of the gimbal as well, right on top of that dial that allows you to pretty much switch between tilt lock mode, which means that the gimbal is not going to look up or down, forward and backwards. But if you flip that switch up, it's going to do an all follow. Cool thing about this is that if I want to show you my shoes right now, I can just pretty much tilt it down and tilt it up and get to where I want. And with the other finger, I can just lock it in place, switch the switch down and we're back in action and a really cool thing that i like about it is that when you go towards the sides like if you were just to twist your uh hand towards like the side you know that little side motor it automatically rotates by itself so you can kind of do portrait mode on the fly but i want to know what you think let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you have any questions suggestions drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you don't forget to subscribe to Smooth and my channel. Links are in the description. Until next time.